Hello traders, the title of the video is Stochastic Trader Reveals a Gold Nugget Stochastic Trading Signal. Are you a stochastic trader or do you want to improve your stochastic trading? All right, you are the right place or also at the right time and today I will be sharing with you a golden nugget, a stochastic a trading signal. But whenever we talk about a trading signal, the first thing that we want to talk about is the trading setup because the trading setup will generate the trading signal. There is no trading signal without a valid trading setup. So as we are about to talk about a golden nugget stochastic trading signal, we will also talk about a golden nugget, a stochastic a trading setup. So you may say to me, George, I don't want to hear too much of blah, blah, blah today. Give it to me straight, all right? So I will say, all right, okay, what are we looking for, all right? This is what we are saying all the time, the question, the very important question in the financial market, what are we looking for? We are looking for, okay, the minimum price move is free. So traders say, George, that's it, I'm off. All right, you talk about it before, you are about to talk about it again, but I will say to you, hold on a second, give me, okay, few minutes, and you will see that I will be talking about something a little bit different, all right? So the minimum price move is free, all right? So price goes out, one, two, three. So if it comes to this point, we will say, all right, priority to bear signal below, and priority to bullish signal above, yes or no? So look carefully here, what, has, what the price has done. The price went up from here to here. Do you agree? <laughs> Feel free to disagree. And then he pulled back, all right? And then he went up again. Is that one, two, three? All right, if you disagree, it means that you have a different agenda. Now this to make you laugh a bit, all right? <laughs> okay, so we have one, two, three. So traders say, Joe, you talked about it before. Similarly, okay, but now we are looking at another financial instrument and something very interesting happening here. And the financial instrument that we are looking at is a bit difficult name. America, uh, our American friend will be laughing at me, or uh, is uh, Clark and Co. <laughs> Cooperation is my pronunciation correct? Okay, now so one, two, three. So when we see the one, two, three, we draw a line. Here it is, okay. The next thing that we want to verify, is there a good reason to buy or to sell? So we will draw the line that I draw here. You can see I draw my line already there. If you look carefully, our lovely stochastic 833, which I use all the time, so all traders know my setting now, 833, has exhibited, okay, a double top. Very interesting. You see here? It's a pattern also. LGBT double top. Right? Mm -hmm. First, took as he was overboard, pulled back, and they form a double top. All right? The price also went up one, two, three. So as he is exhibiting a bearish pattern, the price for minimum price was free. It's not finished yet. Okay? Look carefully, my friend. So, what did I say to you? All right? We want to use multiple authentication. So, in order to have a good reason to buy or to sell, we use, okay, multiple authentication. So, what is the first authentication that we are using here? The minimum price move is free, we draw the line. The second authentication, stochastic exhibit a bearish chart pattern. Third authentication, the price form a V pattern, you see here, boom, boom, all right, that's a V pattern. Professional, so what did I say also before? That the price, okay, does not go up or down without, okay, no reason. Is always headed to a financial, headed to a specific price level, all right? So professional always ask the question, where are we now? You remember the three questions, where are we now? What has happened before, all right? This is, those are the questions we ask, okay? So the price is at the target level, you see here? You see where it stops? That's the target level for that V pattern. Pay attention to the horizontal line that I put there, you see? So by using the depth of that V pattern, professionals say, oh, price is at the target level. 
So what usually take place when the price at the target level? So you buy, you set your target, the price now at the target level, your greedy target level, not even a midpoint target, he exceeded the midpoint target, now he's at the ultimate target level as a bullish. Ah, there was a question, very interesting question, let me mention it. A trader asked me how a day trader can follow the swing traders. That's a very, very good question. It was in a comment session, and I will be recording a video to explain to traders how a day trader can profit from the swing traders. All right, very interesting question. So the price at the target level, so that's another authentication. So we have many reasons where we need to, why we should watch this zone. Price at the target level, the price also exhibited three more. The stochastic is also exhibiting, okay, a double top. Now, what is the next step? The next step is to watch the candlestick pattern. So you see now? So we have many reasons why we should watch that level. Now, in order to buy or to sell, we need to monitor the candlestick pattern. So the first candlestick buy is this one here. You see this one here? That's the inverted hammer. Do you agree? That's the inverted hammer. All right. So price was open here. It went up all the way here. And people saw it, but it closed above the opening price. But if you look carefully, the closing price is also below the media line of the range of the candlestick bar. I talked about this before, and traders must be aware of it. Anytime you are analyzing a candlestick bar, compare the closing price to the media line. Though it closed bullishly, it closed below the media line. It's a bit of weakness here, okay? Now, the following candlestick bar was bullish. So, because I'm on a monthly chart, if you were on a daily chart, you see four daily candlestick bar popping up here. Can we see that? Now? Let's go to the daily chart quickly, because I don't want the video to be too long. All right. We were in this zone. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? See that horizontal line? So we have, is it here or here? <laughs> I'm lost a bit, okay. So, so then if you see, price went up a bit, okay. It went up, that's a bullish candlestick bar. Many days on a daily chart to form the monthly candlestick bar, you see all this, it went up. But if we go back, pay attention carefully, my friend, to the monthly chart, when we see this candlestick bar, the inverted hammer, with the shadow on top, it means that there were orders there to sell, all right? But if the following candlestick bar is bullish, or we start seeing a lot of bullish candlestick bar, that brings the price above the media line of this candlestick bar, because we will, after this candlestick bar is closed, we'll say priority to bullish signal above the media line, and priority to bear signal below, all right? Yes or no? So as the daily candlestick bar push it above the media line, we will start giving priority to bullish signal above the media line of this candlestick bar. You remember that video? The negation of a trading signal. So this candlestick bar is a negation because they did okay, sell that stock in that zone, but now we have a bias. So it's a negation of this bearish okay, shadow here. Okay, when this candlestick bar is finding a support above the media line here. But then look, well, look carefully, my friend, because you, you, do you understand what's happening here? I want you to, to, to think of it for a second. What is going to them? Why they did not sell it straight away after this kind of bar? Because this small money is so strict sometimes when it comes to the price target level. So they say, guys, are you out of your mind? All right. We were buying this stock before. Now we are at near the target level and you want to take profit here. Why don't we bring it to the target level straight away? You can see what's going to the mind of other traders when people start selling here. But those are first, those are conservative swing traders that are coming out of their trade. So they are satisfied with their profit. They say, all right, I don't want to hang around anymore, which myself I will do, because you don't, sometimes you hang around and you give away a lot of profit. So those cautious, swing trader, position trader, they started to come out here. But now other greedy traders say, no, I'm not going to come out yet. There are more to come because we want to hit the target. So that's why this candlestick bar push it a little bit near. But this one, if you see this one is a bearish candlestick bar because it closed below the opening price. 
you can see here, they push it into the target zone, a little bit above, can you see that? Few pips above the target level, where all they were placed to sell. Now they sold it down. <laughs> all right? So what are, we, what are we talking about? We are talking about a golden nugget, stochastic a trading signal that is, uh, okay, coming from a valid trading setup because we have many good reasons why we should sell, okay? So minimum price move is free. Price also at a target level. Stochastic is also exhibiting a double top. Now we want to monitor the candlestick pattern. You see this candlestick bar here. If you go on the daily chart, sometimes if you don't want to wait for the monthly candlestick bar, you go to the daily chart. If you go to the daily chart, you see, that's the first daily candlestick bar. Phew, what's going on? <laughs> orders filled. This was going on here. Many orders was placed a little bit above. You see that uh, doji here? All right. Many, there's a lot of orders to sell just a little bit above the target. You remember when I was recording a video about the 214% Fibonacci extension level? So instead of selling at 200% Fibonacci extension level, professional will purposely place orders instead at a 214% Fibonacci extension level to sell. So the prior reach target level, they don't want to sell exactly. Sometimes they will not sell exactly at the target level. They will place orders a little bit above the target level. And here it is, those orders were filled. Phew! This is a long candlestick bar. Normally, we will expect a rally into the media line of that long candlestick bar. You remember? Before we will sell, okay? But there was no proper rally here. They just push it down. So how do we handle that? Stochastic is exhibiting a double top price also is at target level now we see a weakness this is price we are trading the price yes or no or we are not trading the stochastic the stochastic is giving us a warning but we are trading the price that's why after we have identified many good reason why we should buy or sell because here we will say priority to bear signal below the, the, the target level the priority to bullish signal above all right so now, because on a daily chart, it's solid down, 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 as I show you already. Now we see this monthly candlestick bar is a long candlestick bar. How do we handle it? All right. If they are serious sellers, all right, they will try to sell it again. If it come near the media line of that bearish candlestick bar, this one. So that's why they push it there. So at this junction, the stochastic is bearish. <coughs> the price form, a, a, the price is also at a target level. The price exhibit a three move. Minimum price move is free. Now orders were placed here to sell. We see the first reaction. Now we don't want to be the first person to sell. All right. So now if they are senior sellers, they will not allow the price to go back above the media line of uh, this uh, candlestick bar. So at this junction, we can say to traders, priority to bearish signal below the level of $98, and priority to bullish signal above uh, $98. So that's the media line, roughly, roughly, yeah? Okay, so roughly, roughly, in the zone of $98 level, we put uh, that line there, expecting a rally into that zone. Sometimes the prime may not go to retest that level, but will quickly come down if they want to sell it very fast. But this is a, a, a golden nugget, stochastic a trading setup that will generate, okay, a golden nugget, a stochastic trading signal. As I explained to you at the beginning of this video, without a valid trading setup or a valid stochastic trading setup, we will not have that golden nugget stochastic a trading a signal. Because we have a concurrence, am I speaking a proper English, all right? We have, uh, okay, many good reasons why we should give priority to bear signal below the level of uh, 10795, which is the target level, 10795. The price exhibit minimum price move free. 
So that's the first reason. It's stuck below that level. That's the first reason. All right. The price is also at the target level. That's the second reason. All right. And the third reason, the stochastic also exhibit a double top. Now we are monitoring the candlestick bar to time the market carefully. So if you see, because we have this long candlestick bar, if we did not participate in this candlestick bar, all right, we will wait for a rally near the media line. And if we see a weakness again near the media line, we will implement a different time frame trading method to trade it down. All right, so you may say to me, George, I don't know anything about multiple time frame trading method. If you're on a daily chart, you will say daily chart for the trading setup, hourly time frame for the signal, and 10 minute time frame for the entry. If you're on a four hour time frame, four hour time frame trading setup, 15 minute time frame for the signal, three minute or five minute for the entry. You're on a monthly chart like this, monthly chart for the trading setup, daily chart for the signal, and okay, hourly time frame for the entry. If you do not want to enter on the hourly time frame, you go to the 10 minute time frame. So this is what's happening here. This is a golden nugget, a stochastic a trading signal, stochastic display double top. So you may say, is there a bullish also? There is a bullish uh, okay scenario. Look at this one here. So that's what I say to you. Don't go away. See here, minimum price move is what free. So here it is, one, two, three. Do you agree? Down, yes or no? So what do you need to do? You draw the line. As you, so you say, when should I draw the line? As you see, start turning. See, start turning, just draw a line. So you see, so you draw the line. This is for the bullish uh, golden nugget signal. You draw the line, say, priority to bullish signal above the $16 level, and priority to bear signal below it. But look carefully. The stochastic also form a double bottom. This is a stochastic pattern. So that's the opposite of double top here. So a double bottom, stochastic exhibit a double bottom chart pattern. That's another good reason. The minimum price point is free. If you find a support above the media line, well, we want to buy. You also remember when I was talking about the profit target that we can use, okay, either the length. You see, this is the prior bearish move. All right, we can use either length. Some trader will put it like this at the turning point here to set their target. So their target is here. Some will put it at the low of the turning point here. So their target is a little bit below. I, I, I talk about this, how to set profit target like a pro. Other trader may use the magnitude, you remember? Of the price move, the high, so from the height to the low. And it will project it down like this. So for those traders, the target is also a little bit below. So will you agree that we are in a target zone? If we use the length, put it in here, that's the target level. If you use the length and put it at the low here, a little bit below it, if you use the magnitude, and put it here, a little bit below that uh, target zone. If you put it here, put it here, the magnitude, you put it here instead of the low here, so we are in a target zone. So again, the same scenario, minimum price move is free, price is at the target level, all right? Stochastic display double top, that's for the bearish one. This is the bullish one, minimum price move is free. Stochastic exhibit a double bottom chart pattern, price is at the target level. What do we need to do? monitor first the candlestick pattern. So this is a very interesting scenario here. Uh, you see this bullish candlestick bar and this one here. They are stopping. <laughs> do, do you know that pattern? I, I forgot the name, it got a difficult name. There are many variations for that pattern where you have a, a, a two bullish candlestick bar that, uh, how should I put it to you? Should I say that are arresting, should we say that? Arresting two tiny bearish candlestick bars. So you have two bullish candlestick bars. It's like they are soldiers guarding, okay, two tiny bearish candlestick bars. So those tiny candlestick bars must stay within the range of those two bullish candlestick bars. It's like they are arresting them, right? They stop them. They say, you're not going anywhere. So when you see, when you have two or three good reasons for the golden nuggets to cast a signal, well, monitor the candlestick pattern, and then what? Implement a top-down trading method. 
trying to draw on my chart to highlight that specific a candlestick pattern. So the two tiny bearish candlestick bar. If you allow me, we may say has been arrested. You see here, those two bullish candlestick bar has stopped those. Uh, you see those tiny bearish candlestick bar are within the range of the. Can we zoom into me it more? You see one bullish candlestick bar, another bullish candlestick bar, and those tiny they came down and they couldn't go beyond the range of those two bullish candlestick bar. Something like this, okay? So this is a bullish candlestick bar. Uh, this is also a bullish candlestick bar, and you have it there. You remember what I said to you before, whenever we hear the word pattern, candlestick pattern, it's about location. It's happening at a target level, it's happening at a minimum price, more it's free, where the price did stop, all right? And the stochastic is also forming a double bottom chart pattern here. It's happening all the time. Sometimes people don't see it. I talked about the price structures before, here it is again. One. Will you agree? Now it came down. So it kind of uh, moved down here. That's two, isn't it? Yeah, so one, two. Yeah, this is a video I posted about, uh, okay, minimum price means free. Sometimes people don't see that it's three more. But if you draw a channel, one, two, three. Look at our stochastic again. Will you agree? For the first time in your life with me, <laughs> you do not have to. It looks like a double top here, yeah? You may disagree, and I don't blame you for it, so. It looks like a double top again here. Same scenario, double top, stochastic, eight, three, three, one, two, three. What has happened here? Boom, down. Monitor first, the candlestick pattern. So, can you see this one, the pin? The one with the pin, and that's one followed by a shadow. This is, uh, you will say, doji, and another one with a shadow up, and I'm bringing it down. All right, you see now? So you may say, oh, maybe there's a target here. Let's talk about it. We draw a conservative, you see here, an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern, and we put it like this. It's happening all the time, but sometimes people are not aware of it. It's what I call the golden nugget stochastic a trading signal. You see again? So this uh, inverted head and shoulder chart pattern. Right. If we measure the depth of that conservative inverted head and shoulder chart pattern and we project it like this, as the price breaks above the neckline, our target is where? Right here. Let's call it into pink. That's where the minimum price move is free, is also stopping. Here it is, see, that's the target. Here is this, one, two, three, to a target level, stochastic from a double top. <laughs> All right, game on. Monitor the candlestick pattern, breathe in, breathe out. Don't rush, all right? Then use a different time frame trading method. We can use this strategy for day trading, scalping, position trading, and swing trading. This is the golden nugget stochastic uh, trading signal. So you can work on this, okay? Work on it, which means you lock yourself in your room with your favorite drink, and you are working on it until you master it and you own it. So now you say, all right, George, I master the golden nugget stochastic trading signal, and I will look for it on the four-hour time frame, on the daily chart, on the monthly chart, on the yearly chart, on the quarterly time frame, and I follow the correct steps. You say to me, George, summary for me now, summarize it for me. What are we looking for? That's the question. Minimum price move is free. Draw the line. All right? Good. Priority body signal above. Priority body signal below. Minimum price. Is the price at the target level? If it is, that's very good. Is the stochastic forming a double top or a double bottom chart pattern? If yes, well, monitor the candlestick pa pattern, then implement a valid top-down trading method without, okay, assuming anything. If the signal fell, come out, because you know that, okay, this one is not, it's not friendly, leave it alone, come back another day, and try again, all right? 
So this is the end of the tutorial talking about stochastic trader reveals a golden nugget stochastic a trading signal. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in the comment section and do course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about the stochastic trader reveals a golden nugget stochastic trading signal. If you find this video truly truly useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that this is another blah blah blah, let us know by giving us the thumbs down. If you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Twitter, on Facebook, and also on Google+. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 Traders. Speak to you soon.